Hey Cancer, it's Elle here to do your May 2018 general reading for the month. I hope that everyone is having a really good month. Let's get started. We'll start with love. Thank you for the love messages for Cancer. True, accurate messages for Cancer and love. Thank you for the love messages for Cancer. True, accurate messages for Cancer. True, accurate messages for Cancer. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Messages for Cancer. I'm gonna take that one. If it comes back out, okay. Bottom of the deck, the Five of Pentacles. So this could talk about, you know, of course, it's about the pentacle, um, money, uh, things that are monetary. It also could talk about the feeling of, of lack that comes from, if you don't have enough money, then sometimes people feel lack in every area because not having enough, enough of what is currency on this you know on earth it can then mess with your emotional mess with your mental so it's just the feeling of um needing help um it's not always that you need help but it's the feeling of it is there you know the next card would be the six of pinnacle um receiving charity giving to charity um, We'll, we'll keep going or just feeling left out feeling like you're not inside of this this establishment you're outside either you or someone else Capricorn Virgo Taurus you're the three of swords and the queen of wands crosses it some of you could be dealing with a uh, fire sign Aries Sagittarius Leo um Three of Swords. Three of Swords talks about caution in a relationship, needing to practice caution in a relationship, uh, separation, divorce due to infidelity, uh, third party situations. Of course, that would be infidelity. What crosses this is the Queen of Wands. Maybe, the, and sometimes the Queen of Wands is the other woman or the other man. The basis for all this energy is the Page of Swords. Someone did some spying. Someone is spying on you, Cancer. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They could be very immature to, in the manner that they speak to you. Uh, yeah, their communication skills are very immature. They spy. They pry. They want what they want by way of dominance and dominating the communication presently you are the moon um what i just heard is that you're going through cycles within yourself you're trying to figure things out too there's things unknown to you you're trying to figure out which way to go within yourself um you are ruled by the moon uh we just had a new moon right and um you're trying to regain balance. There you are, the crab. It looks like a lobster, though. Anyway, um, you're trying to regain balance here. You know, come out of the emotional half of the lobster or crab, whatever you want to call it, 
is on land and the other is on water you know so you're trying to regain some balance by way of either keeping secrets and li or telling half truths and lies or holding things back or things being held back from you spirit working with you by way of um, taking you through some changes emotionally recent past in love was the towers and so something unexpected happened in the past it shook up an already faulty foundation. I think you still were holding on. Or your partner still was holding on. Moving forward in the near future is the Knight of Wands. Okay, so someone, either you or someone else, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo is rushing. Yeah, they're, they're rushing toward the past. Like Maybe this is a person you've already have history history with you dealt with they're rushing toward you maybe they know something here they know something is falling down we'll pull a few clarifying cards your power wow you're sitting in full cancer power nice king of cups or this could be another water sign. Um, most times it's um, Pisces, but um, or Scorpio. But and it could be very well could be you. But this is the your power, King of Cups. You you showing up in your full, the fullness of your element. Your throne is in the midst of water, in the midst of emotions. You you are in complete control of your emotions, even in the midst of all of this external to you is someone you definitely could be dealing with a fire sign a leo or someone practicing strength they're having strength and dealing with you they're waiting for you you're taming themselves maybe they used to be all out of order in the past they would move too quickly too ferociously that's what i'm hearing too just too fast and they, they're taming themselves that's external to you hopes and fears definitely a hope three of wands to leave behind whatever this may be partnership business partnership love this is a love spread uh, whatever it is it was established with these two wands you want you're leaving it behind you you have your hand firmly planted on the one wand and you're looking out towards the future or this is vice versa someone's waiting for you fire sign aries sagittarius leo outcome the ten of swords either you're doing this to someone else or someone is doing it to you you're definitely dealing with air and fire when you show up could be dealing with water too scorpio Ten of Swords. Someone feeling backstabbed, betrayed, blindsided, uh, slapped in the face with some some new development, some new energy. Who is the Page of Swords? What is the Page of Swords? Who is the Page of Swords? The, the Nine of Cups. Okay. Uh... What I immediately heard, but I was trying to make sense of it, which I shouldn't have done, is that some of you wanted to be found out. If not wanted to be found out, um, you were just okay with things coming out. And present energy is the moon. Secrets and lies. Um, you kind of manifested this, the, the spying. Some of you manifest the communication with an air sign. It might have been short communication. They said what they said, but it made you 100% happy. It makes you feel as if you can build something with 
maybe an air sign or earth sign Capricorn Virgo Taurus an air sign with earth in their chart what's the moon what's the moon six of pentacles so you're going through emotional changes because you feel like maybe something doesn't reciprocate. There's there's problems in your, your relationship or your marriage. This could be a second marriage or a second relationship for you. A second serious relationship. Um, there's problems here. There's inequality. Maybe due to someone holding back. You holding back. Secrets. What's the Ten of Swords? What's the Ten of Swords? What's the Ten of Swords? The Devil. So this might have been third party. Or maybe, maybe you're ending a toxic relationship. You're ending a third party relationship. You want to put an end to the lies and the deceit. Yeah, this was like a toxic relationship. Marriage. Uh, I'm even hearing like I'm, you know, it wasn't really traditional. It was open. Eight of yeah, eight of cups. You're walking away from it. Um, who is the strength card? Who's the strength card? Six of Swords. Yeah, someone wanted to move away from conflict. They want peace and harmony with you. Like I said, they could have tamed themselves. This could be anybody. This is the Leo card, but anyone it could be you the fool they want a new start they've completely changed or transformed their thinking or their way of thinking the high priest by way of gaining spiritual clarity they know some things maybe that you don't know they feel some things they know how deep the connection is so now they're taming themselves what's the tower in the past the lovers so you, some of you could have been dealing with a Gemini we do have air here uh, it's also about making a choice and we do have the devil and the outcome yeah you went within to make this choice but you're still still think about this person you're still feeling trapped in your thoughts in, in regards to maybe a third party situation or you wanting to build something you wanted to build something with this person but it looks like it was it's just a burden you're gonna lay it down have a new start in love I think for self first yeah for self because you weighed up the the cost you weighed up the 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 two very real options the love affair or the business relationship yeah to a source you know you needed to make a decision get in control of this and it looks like this was destined to happen with the will of fortune here page of pentacles at the bottom of the deck uh sum it all up it looks like cancer you're finally doing what you should man i've been doing these readings for a long time now and y'all have been leaving and leaving. I'm done. I want my soulmate. I want my twin flame. But not really being stern and moving toward it. But it looks like some of you are jumping on a new ship and saying goodbye to the old toxicity of a relationship either with a Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, specifically a Leo um, Sagittarius Aries let's see I don't know who's cancer is going toward though. like where are you going are you just going to remain single is there someone else get in the comments and let me know all right, 
off. Let's move on to career and finance. Career and finance. This deck does, you know what, I don't want to use that. Uh, career and finance for cancer. Thank you for the career and finance messages for cancer for you. For the messages coming from the heavenlies, the divine messages of love and light, of guidance and clarity in career and finance for cancer. True messages for, for cancer, career and finance. 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 Right. And this one was turned over. Okay. Two of spades at the bottom of the deck. Some of you need to make a decision. And then there's you, King of Cups, or maybe another water sign. Looks like there's an ending in, for some of you in career and finance. This kind of looks like love to a little love here. With the two of hearts, a successful relationship here in the near future. Um, some of you are going to become single. You're also restless in your current job because of a business opportunity opportunity that you want to partake in external to you is maybe someone an air uh aquarius gemini libra nine of spades they have low energy there's negativity surrounding them negative agonizing anxious thoughts there's a lot of anxiety uh hopes and fears is to actually move away from chart a new path of the two of club there are obstacles there is uh opposition here somebody's you know or something is 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 has you bound but that's your hope and fear unexpected event a bad unexpected event happens and shifts the energy here with the four of club it could be surrounding your relationship or what your foundation is or what you have established in the past there was rapid communication in regards to the trouble in your relationship due to jealousy and or greed there is an ending for you maybe in the career sector what used to be what used to fulfill you in your career no longer does maybe because of the business opportunity you'll start to have a newfound love for self uh, in which maybe this this is the outcome um, but in your mind there's a there's a, a, a war with inside of you there's there might be some cancellation some reversal you'll go backwards before you go forward five of diamond in your present energy feeling left out also this talks about a successful um, success in marriage and home which is contrary Hmm. What's the nine of pentacles? Who's the nine? Ace of diamond. Nice. That's a new start of a business, a, a large purchase, a new found way of making money, wealth, and happiness. Wow. And then we, it sits on the new business opportunity. For, so for some of you, if self employment, moving, away from a current company to another company is on the brain it's here for you in your power uh five of diamond what's the five of diamonds jack of diamond capricorn virgo Taurus. uh and in, in this deck this is an unreliable untrustworthy 
a dishonest person. It, uh, it could also be an offer of something stable, but at the same time, um, let's see, it could be Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. We do have that energy here. King of Clubs. This fire sign might be this. They're offering something, but is it real? Is it true? Is it, uh, is it honest? Is it reliable? Watch out. They might want partnership, but it might be one-sided with the fire sign. Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo, Eight of Clubs, or this offer, maybe in a new job. It might not be all that is cracked up to be. What's the Two of Hearts moving forward? Oh, successful relationship maybe with another water sign in your in your near future or just for you you're okay or it's just for you cancer maybe with um an earth sign a capricorn virgo taurus or someone who exudes that type of energy right you might be waiting for this person waiting for partnership with this person Eight of clubs in the past. Could have been a reliable friend. Uh, somebody in and out. That's why there was trouble in a relationship. Could be this fire sign here presently in the past. Nine of spades. Who's the nine of spades? Who's the nine of spades? External to cancer. There might be jealousy and greed at work. The Queen of Spades. This is typically Gemini. It could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This person has a lot of negativity surrounding them. You may have taken a break from this person, or you need to take a break from this person. They could be ill. They could have mental illness, is what. Oh, mm. They could be bipolar. They could be up and down. You know, anything's going on right here. Two of Club, Two of Club. Seven of Clubs. You're standing your ground. Your psychic abilities are heightened toward the opposite sex. You're going to have prosperity and, and um, success here by way of spirit helping you with the Seven of Clubs. You just have to stand your ground. If this is a job move, it, it was like a little love and, and job related. Things will work out for you. You have to stand your ground. Rely on spirit. Pray if you're in doubt. There is negativity around you or, or that surrounds you. I do know that. Um, move forward as best as possible in, in such a situation. Let's get three cards of additional support for cancer. Three cards of additional support for cancer. All right, end of an era flipped out of the deck. End of an era. This could be the end of anything. End of an era is in end of that job you've been there forever. End of that relationship, that toxic relationship you've been in forever. It's the end. Let it end. It's the end. You know, do whatever you need to do for an ending, but let it end. Windfall. Nice. A windfall of either money, a windfall of good luck. There's a windfall. There's something good coming in for you. You are stronger than you know. Some of you, and at the bottom of the deck, spiritual growth. These are the same cards that popped out off camera for you. Uh, these three. Um, spiritual growth. You know, get spirit. Get spiritually grounded. Sorry about that. Um, and it looks like you will you will be working with spirit. Spirit is working with you. Listen to your dreams. Uh, write your dreams down. Don't overanalyze them, but do know. Maybe that's when spirit can speak to you. 
know that you're stronger than you think you can either you can either do it alone you can go it alone or there is support there is something better a windfall of just everything you want in your life can can be yours if you let something in you're stronger than you know rely on spirit so i hope that this, these messages helped you out cancer if it did please click that like button like 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 share comment subscribe to the channel everything all support is much appreciated i do have a new website it should be flashing or has flashed visit the website to book a reading um i also have monthly services now you can receive a monthly general reading every month to my first 50 monthly subscribers you will receive a free five minute reading just for signing up for for subscription services <laughs> Uh, thank you guys once again. Remember, when in doubt, pray. I am praying for you. Pray for me as well. Take care, and I'll see you in the mid-monthlies.